It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between NFC South rivals. It's the Bucks and the Saints. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Again, everybody, alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And, Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. teed up and here we go from New Orleans and no run back on the opening kickoff it'll come out to the 25 well for a little bit we thought his story had concluded but not to be here's Tom Brady in his 23rd NFL season leading the Bucks offense out once again for one month many people thought they'd seen the end of the greatest quarterback career in league history of course, there were others who expected Tom Brady to come back, and he did so 40 days later for a 23rd hey, NFL yeah. season. Leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns at age 44, he showed that he's as good as ever. But of course, losing in the divisional round, not the way he wanted to go out in his final game. For TB12, it's Lombardi Trophy. Oh, Fournette loses it. It's out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. And here come the Saints about to begin their first possession. And the man in charge of this offense, his eighth season now in the NFL, former number one pick, Jameis Winston. And so often when you've stolen a possession, as they just did there. On the first play. The first play, picking up the fumble. The natural inclination is to attack, go after them big. Sometimes what you just want to do is put the ball in the hands of one of your best players in one of their favorite plays and establish your dominance that way. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it's going to be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It'll be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's William Golston there who fought his way in to make the play. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Again, it's Kamara. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Working out of the gun, Winston. Alave holds it in. 
And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Winston to the sideline here on fourth down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. The kick by Lutz is good, and the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense back out. There's the veteran bruiser, the running back, Leonard Fournette. He's got to clear his mind a little bit right now. One carry, and that carry was a lost fumble. Clear his mind, clear his hands, and, this, and just let this one go. Sometimes it happens. You drop the ball, get a full game ahead of him, hand it to him again, see if they can start to produce. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way. Makes a great play on the football and turns it into six. Will Lutz on for the point after. He's got it, and now it's a 10 nothing lead here in the opening quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So out come the Bucs now. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the beat down. Couldn't get that toe-tap sequence, right? I was ready to call it tippy toes if that one was completed. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. From the gun, it's Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. The side's incomplete. The throw got him a little too far. It brings up third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. And that's incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. Now a hit and a loose football. And this one will be brought back to the 22. I remember sitting in special teams meetings. And at some point during the meeting, the coach would always say, you better treat this one just like you're playing offense or defense. It's a big part of the game. And we just saw evidence of why right there with that fumble. Yeah, fumble on the punt. And after it was turning up to be a pretty decent return. Yeah, a really nice return. They were going to be set up OK. And the offense would feel good running onto the field. And now the defense has to try it out there and try and slow them down. Brady now on first down. And he loses the football a second time. The Saints say they have it, and they do. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust, because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game. Something they haven't done with the ball so far. They begin on the ground with Kamara. 
Joe trying on there to make the tackle. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run it again with Kamara. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll try to throw now. Winston. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time by manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Bucs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. So after the INT, it's Brady. And, then, and I think the ball's out. And this is picked up by the Saints. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Winston now. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Now Brady. And he's got the hook up here. It's Kyle Rudolph. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's to Evans, and what a nice catch that is. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Treads him with a stiff arm. But I saw the pressure coming out of that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception in 
this year. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Well, the Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. A chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. Now meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory, the drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. One more drive here for the Buccaneer offense in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Meanwhile, Brady's throw complete here, pulled in by Bray. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Brady. And break, the tight end's got it. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. From the 41, Brady. They'll drop this off for Bernard. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though. Let's take a look at the next-gen stats from the first half for the Bucs. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Saints, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the second half from the Superdome, Let's go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And, Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly hopped on it, but I think they told him, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, you certainly have to give him a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. 
from the gun. He'll hand this off. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hands it off out of the gun. As strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Ten yards, good for a Saints first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter. And runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they're leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Jameis to throw it. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. And that is incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. A busy night continues for Camara. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. First and 10 at the 11. Throwing, Winston. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Throwing again on second and ten. Winston got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Saints have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seems like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because of two scores already, just want them to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first down, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. <laughs> Winston to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So that two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. 
Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched for that. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's into the end zone. A fumble return and a safe touchdown. And that's a linebacker, Sean. He can move pretty good with the football in his hand. That's not just a short shot of that. He took him at a pretty good distance, didn't he? Did you get the 40 time on that? I did. But he got six points out of it. That's a great play for that defensive unit. stretch their lead to 28 nothing now the scoop and score always an exciting play in football and we witnessed it there grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six and you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return and he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. With the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Brady going to throw. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. Calling the gate of 40 on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Throwing now is Brady. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. They'll go with a big bank for it. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Winston to give. It's Kamara. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now Winston on fourth down. It's 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a peep of protest out of them. That's just who they are. On first and 10, here's Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. P.J. Williams with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate. I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. A give to Camaro running right. Pushes past him, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. 112 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, got And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one.